What's up, guys? Hello. What's up, bro? What's Good to be back. Just a couple days out from a, a big main event, network television, big fight. What's what's the emotion like for you right now? I feel good, man. I feel like I'm right where I'm supposed to be. I'm excited about this fight. I'm sure the fans are. It's going to be a good one. It is. I mean, it's, it's one of these I think people are especially excited about because of the styles that are coming. I mean, do you get excited for certain fights over others? Yeah, I mean, when they called me with this fight, I, uh, you know, I'm a fan of the sport and I know fun matchups. And when they call me, these are the kind of fights that I want to be part of, though. These are the kind of fights that I chase my whole career, you know. Uh, guys who want to fight guys who want to try to put guys away and come in there and leave it all out there that's what the kind of fights i want to be part of i've heard some people say that you're a more refined version of him basically do you think that's a that's a fair assessment you know i've had my brawl in years for sure uh you know but i've like you said i've refined it a lot this is my 20th fight in the octagon this is his 20th pro fight so that says a little bit about what i've been doing and, and lastly for me i mean i think we all are kind of get, trying to figure out what's at stake here right i mean Nobody said explicitly what's on the line here, but but what do you think's on the line in this fight? Uh, my future, my family's well-being, a lot's on the line. A lot of stuff that, that you don't even think about. A lot's on the line, everything. Championship fight? I think so. Yeah. Let's get it, baby. Extrapolating off that, I mean, the timing for this couldn't be better. The lightweight title was just basically decided last week. Does it feel now like there's a clear path in that division? Uh, you know, I, I honestly feel like it's more jam than it was before i think if tony and khabib would have fought that would have played out we would have know who the number one guy is now we have a guy who maybe is stripped of his interim title and a guy who fought somebody outside of the top 10 now he's the world champion that makes it even more messy so uh but none of that matters to me you know saturday night is all i'm focused on and we'll take it from there who do you consider the champion the true champion i mean connor never lost his belt you know he uh it's hard to say i mean khabib's the champion you know, it, he's the champion now, so. I think every, it's safe to say everyone in the sport was kind of shocked by it, just generally how last week went down. What were your thoughts when you see sort of these images coming out of Brooklyn? Honestly, I, st I start getting off of social media as it gets close to my fight. I kind of stay off of Instagram and Twitter. I just get on to post stuff that I have to, or promotional stuff, you know, to promote this fight and to promote sponsors and, and shit like that. But uh, when I saw, saw what was going on and people started texting me about it, I kind of tried to not read into it, not read any articles and get involved in it. I text Dana and Sean, told them, hey, I can make weight this Saturday. I've, I've paid years of, of, of blood, sweat, and tears in this sport. If, if, if the opening's there for me and you don't want to use me, I'm in. I let them know. And uh, that's, that's, all, that's all it was for me. After I text them guys, I, I completely got out of it. Is there any interest? Uh, I was basically told that they would be fixing one problem and creating two more. They needed this show on Fox. They've already did the sh countdown show or whatever. The, pr the production's already done, and it's a critical negotiation point. And this is a big fight for Fox. And uh, that, I think they would have done, like they said, they would have caused more problems. And so, as a businessman, that makes a lot of sense, right? But as a fighter, are you like, yeah, and, 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 exa and exactly what I thought I told my wife. I sat back. I said, you know, if we were at home right now and I didn't have this fight booked, we'd be fighting for a world championship. But uh, it's coming, man. You know, in due time, I'm gonna just keep grinding, keep putting in the work. This is Desiree Flores with MMA Fight Radio. How are you feeling in your weight cut right now? How are you feeling today? I feel great. And how do you feel being in Justin Gaethje's hometown? Does that have any added pressure for you? No, not at all. I mean, maybe it's added pressure for him. Uh, I feel good. I've, I've, I've uh, gone into people's hometown and beat them before, you know? And like I said in, in, the, uh, in the show, I'll fight him in his hometown, in his town home. It don't matter to me. <laughs> Sort of the fallout from last week's interesting because we still haven't heard anything. It's certainly not a bad, or it's certainly not a good look for the sport. Hit, heard anything with? Heard anything just in regards to sort of how it's going to play out with Connor. Oh yeah, yeah. If that was up to you, like, should he be punished and to what degree? This it's not up to me. It's not up to me to even. You know, of course, I disagree with the action. Who who wants to? You know, he, he messed up some fights that I was looking forward to. I just fought Anthony Pettis. I wanted to see his rebound. I wanted to see where Chiesa's at after his fight. You know, that's the fight I was looking forward to. I'm, like I said, I'm a fan of the sport, man. I look forward to matchups and see how guys do after they lose, after they win. I, I'm, I'm interested in stuff like that. But, uh, you know, Paul Felder, Aya Quinta, that, that, that was an exciting fight to me, too. So they lost a couple fights that I was looking forward to. And uh, I'm sure they're going to do something, but it's not, I have no, you know, no power to even talk about that. How do you think Habib did against Al, considering he just got that fight on one day notice pretty much? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, an opponent change like that is, you know, a big deal. He, he fought well, won every round didn't take any damage I mean he's a champ and how much of Justin Gaethje did you watch prior to the UFC I know the last two times you fought in Arizona for those two like quote-unquote fight of the year candidates really I, I know that uh I watched him in, in World Series he was a good fighter you know he's fun to watch I, I'm a fan uh, 
Melvin Gallard was training at American Top Team when he fought Justin, so we watched some stuff then when Melvin was getting ready. Well, when he did train, I guess you could say. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I've seen the guy fight a lot. Did you cross train at all, or did you bring anybody in to emulate him? We have so many. We have such a big stable of fighters at American Top Team that I had so many guys. I mean, and big, heavy-handed, uh, orthodox guys are, are not hard to find. You know, there's lots of them out there. Uh, so it wasn't that hard to get great sparring for this. It's funny, everyone talks about Khabib when they talk about it. It's almost like he's this unbeatable uh, guy. I mean, now that he's the champion of the division, when you watch him fight, do you see holes? Like, is there a pass to victory against him? For sure, there's holes in everybody's game. Of course, he's a dominant wrestler and he's strong and, you know, uh, has great grappling, but he's human, he can be beat. I'm not scared to fight him. Is that something you want after this? Of course. But like I said, and this is all we can focus on is Saturday, 25 minutes. I have to be the best version of myself for 25 minutes. After that, I'm gonna get some pizza and then we'll see what's next. What kind of pizza? I don't know, man. I don't know, I need some pizza and beer and I think I'm gonna go home and buy a hammock and fight at the end of the year for the belt, hopefully. <laughs> Thanks, Dustin. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.